Guys, this word today is to encourage you all to stop worshiping man and worship God. Now, some of you may say, what are you talking about? I don't worship man. I, I worship God. You see, worship is anything that you put most of your time and attention to and give more time, attention, consideration, whatever it is that you give more of yourself and your time to. That is worship. Anything that causes there to be an imbalance with the time that you spend with God. My mouth is itching. I don't know why this is happening. Everything itches when I'm on camera. All right. Anything that pulls you from God takes away from your prayer time, takes away from your word time. It's a form of worship. But we know that there's a lot of people that worship man. They worship preachers. They worship leaders. They may even worship someone that they feel like, you know, um, is well-versed in Christ. And that's not what you're supposed to do. Everything belongs to God. Remember when Satan wanted in, Satan met God in the wilderness, met Jesus in the wilderness, and he said, if you bow down and worship me, I'll give you all these things. And he said, no, the word of God says, you shall worship the Lord thy God and only him shall you serve. Only him are we supposed to worship and bow down to, you know? And so we find in today's Christian walk, there's people who are lauding and lionizing men, lionizing people and they are allowing it you know people are coming to church and they want to hear their pastor speak and then they stay after church to talk to the pastor and not really talking to one another not looking out to say now i've got this word i've heard this word who can i go out and speak to you see this long line of people wanting to talk to the pastor and the pastor's wife or you know that church leader and it and so many other things that we see Monies, tons of money, hundreds and thousands, millions of dollars are being given to a cause, to a building, to build whatever, to get them a plane just as a gift. And I'm not here to say that you cannot bless the man or woman of God, but let that be, be between you and that person. That's why the Bible talks about don't let your right hand know what your left hand is doing. Everybody don't need to know that. But at the same time, we're doing what we what I have called, I have a video called the modern day golden calf. You can check that out, type that in, in the search engine for my videos on YouTube. And you will see something very interesting that the Lord gave me about that modern day golden calf, where people's focus is become into building something to worship, whether it's a church, whether it's a person, whether it's a cause, and they've lost focus on God. Stop worshiping man and put your sights on God. How are you worshiping man? I'm going to tell you, you will sin, do some old, dirty, grimy stuff and just don't care. But it, you will try to hide that same thing and try to put on a good face in front of your pastor, in front of your leaders, in front of certain people. But you by yourself, knowing God is there, you'll sin before him, but Lord, forgive me. You don't reverence him, but you reverence man more because you will hide what you're doing to somebody to a human, to a flawed creature like yourself, right? Someone's just like you, who probably struggles just like you. You are more concerned about how you look to them than how you look to Christ. How are you worshiping God, worshiping man more than God? Because you will do everything. You will give and you'll do all these things. You're on an auxiliary and you're, you're content because you're in the in crowd and you're accepted and how much you're given. People give all that stuff to offerings and tithes. A lot of them, they do that because that's a tax write-off. So they'll do all those, those things, but it has nothing to do with coming from the heart. It's all a show. You do that, but then you won't obey God and give to someone who is poor. The word of God says we are supposed to bless those who are downtrodden. Those who are naked, clothe them. Those who are shut in, visit them. Those who are hungry, feed them. We are not spending a lot of time doing that. What we do is we put money into different organizations, right? And you, you invest and you put this thing because you're going to benefit it from how, somehow. And, you know, everyone's going to see that you did it. And you'll put into all of that, but not really plugging into what God wants you to do. There's a lot of you, you'll put your ministries on hold. There are things God has told you to do. You're not doing it because there's a man that says, you are not ready. I have not released you yet. And while there are men of God who are wise and are in tuned with God, there is no one that is more in tune to God for you than you. 
You understand that? There is no one that is more in tune to God for you than you. There is no one that God says, oh, you're not ready. This person will lead you. No, because in the end, you will stand before God for yourself. So if God expects you to speak for yourself before his throne by yourself, that means he has a great deal of expectation. He has a, an expectation from you. He has a lot of confidence in you. He's placed a lot of authority in you for yourself. Don't allow man to take that from you. And don't look at just man. It, that person is being, whether they know it or not, influenced by darkness. Because only darkness will try to tell you to look to this man, this woman, to tell you what you need to do. You can get advice, but there's a difference between advice and when someone else is saying, I will hear from God for you and you won't move. You won't move for, to move when God speaks to you until someone confirms it to you. There's a difference between using wisdom and when you are being disobedient to God. But all I'm saying to you guys today is do not allow yourself to become a worshiper of man. It's something that can happen and you don't even realize it. So be careful. All right, guys. Okay.